Yes. Hi, Abosto. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm also very good. Great, great. So, <laughs> so let's uh, start with the pitch. Yes, let's start with the pitch. Oh. Okay, okay. Let me start. All right. So, hi. We are Marvel Cross Magical Way of Learning, and we are set on a mission to revolutionize the education sector. So, moving to our team. Since we know that in education sector, the success of a product is very much decided by the quality of education the company is giving to the students. That is why we have created a team of four, wherein me, Vibhav Bansal, is a hardcore academician with seven years of experience into education sector. I also worked as an HOD with some of the topmost brands in India, like Akash Educational Services, like Merit Nation. Like Baiju's learning, then we have team of four. Vibhav Bansal, that is me, is the co-founder and CEO of the project. I'm a hardcore academician. Basically, uh, from initial stages of my career, I was much much more interested into teaching students. And with this thing, with this interest and passion into teaching, I started my career as an academician. I taught almost you can say ten thousand students in a span of seven years. and most of them are like very successful because uh, in 2017 i gave admissions in medical colleges uh, to students like uh, 100 of students who were taught by me got admitted into medical colleges for their mbbs degree and almost 14 to 15 students got into iits that are premier institutes for engineering in, in india and i worked as hod of chemistry also with a premium brand in india that is akash educational services moreover i served as the academic head with merit nation for one and a half year moving to our next partner rajat bansal the co-founder and ceo of the project he has 3 plus years of experience into education sector as a mentor academician and manager then karan sharma our chief technical officer he has 3 plus years of experience into app development and he is like a very very enthusiastic guy about developing apps and all that web uh, web stuff and all and he worked as a software developer in ndtv and ndtv is a very very famous news channel in india then our marketing guy pranav jain he is a creative guy basically and he has 1 plus year of experience into it firm for marketing and yes obviously he is very very good logic driven person moving to the idea so our idea is provide refined and progressive education to students by infusing a learning by doing approach resulting in improved learning outcomes basically what uh, we are trying to say with this is uh, most of the uh, you can say in education sector when you see a teacher mentor connection or a teacher student connection then mostly teacher used to teach students either on online portals like live sessions or on standard classroom board model or you can say nowadays uh, there is something called as virtual learning or virtual uh, you can say 3d effects into teaching but at the end all these effects are like virtual so what we are planning is why not student can do the things student can do the experiments and then by doing those experiments he can see the inferences he can take out inferences and based on that he will end up in real time learning so this is what our idea is and that obviously will help in improving the grades as well as uh, it will have good impacts in the coming future uh, yes the market size the uh, main part you can say uh, india's education market is like a big market basically Uh, the K twelve segment, uh, the segment that we caters to, basically the students that are into their school segment. Uh, so this K twelve segment in two thousand sixteen was estimated to be around hundred billion dollar market, with a compound annual growth rate of sixteen percent, and it is expected that it will reach to one eighty billion dollars by two twenty twenty. And you can see this is the total market size, out of which fifty two percent is our K twelve segment, and. Uh, yes, moving to the pain points. Basically, the main pain points 
in, in uh, you can say the students are facing or parents are facing or we can say our customers are facing is very very heavy cost if i tell you about for this in india there are certain uh, you can say well established brands into education but they are charging a lot at students part uh, for instance if i tell you in indian currency they are charging around 3 lakh rupees for providing just tuitions so this much heavy cost uh, parents have to pay for getting good or quality education secondly the teaching methodologies that uh, is basically followed in the country or throughout the country is outdated way basic that leads to loss of interest in fact that is a major problem nine almost 50% of students who enroll for a course ends up in leaving the course because of lack of you can say interest in the subject and that lack of interest develops over the time due to outdated methods of teaching and this is something which is a big pain point for students that they do not uh, you can say get interest into the subject or teachers are not able to you can say preserve their attention towards the subject and then yes nowadays it's too much of virtual learning which is uh, you can say prevailing over the market for example byju's one of the uh, big market uh, company into education sector is coming up with the virtual uh, learning systems wherein students can actually see the things in 3d but at the end that also gives a part of the complete knowledge that means it is a kind of pseudo learning one cannot actually learn the reality of the things so that is one pain point other than that is extra mental pressure this is also one of the major issues students are facing because their schedules are so much packed in fact an adult if you compare like the people who goes to job the adult one even he doesn't have that much of pressure what a student is facing in india because a student from morning 8 he has to go to school he or she has to go to school then when he comes back at 2 after that uh, you can say from 4 o'clock in the evening up just after a span of 2 hours he goes to the tuition centers for private coaching and all so that he will get to uh, you can say crack the competitive exams in order to make his future so this kind of thing you can say student is totally packed from 8 to 8 into tuitions into homework into school and this uh, you can say leaves a student with no time for other activities that are vital for his growth and obviously it results in retarded growth then large batch sizes the standard classroom models are like totally professional and they run in uh, very very large batch sizes wherein each and every student will not be able to understand properly because obviously if the batch size will be large the mentor to teacher ratio will automatically fall down and uh, this uh, you can say if i give you an estimate the batch sizes in india used to be around 300 in a batch so this much large batch sizes then rigid course structure basically the courses that uh, institutions are offering in india or private tutors are offering in india are you can say very much rigid it is not flexible for example if a student cannot come to the class for x or y or z reason which is a genuine reason then he doesn't have the liberty or flexibility to alter the class uh, on his own, uh, you can say in his own way or according to his uh, suitability it is you can say the course curriculum is so tightly packed that student has to uh, basically uh, match, match his pace or her pace with the mentor, mentor. So, so this, this is, is one of the biggest pain, pain, pain point then yes, yes the solution that we are providing This, this is the solution, solution one that, that is little newton goes which is still in beta, beta testing phase and uh, we have priced it at 150 rupees per month and uh, the main motto behind this small price is we want to penetrate deeper into the sections of the society like those sections of the society who are uh, economically not good can actually afford that so you can say it is around 2 dollars a month very very you can say economic that means it is budget friendly then self paced means student can learn anything anywhere anytime at his own suitability there is it, it is not like if student cannot attend a class today then he has no option to attend it tomorrow or uh, some other day and sessions are very short because if you see uh, maintaining the interest for a longer duration of time is a, a tough job even the best teachers cannot preserve attention of student during long sessions 
so this basically creates the problem of lack of interest or lectures be uh, getting boring and ultimately leading to loss of interest into the subject so in order to prevent that we kept the session short so that's to we can preserve their interest and it will end up in a better learning for them and obviously our courses are competitive aligned or you can say in india most of the uh, students approaches towards competitive exams for uh, you can say excelling in life because in india education is not like uh, uh, you can say education is not that much efficient or that much aligned with industrial needs that students can take it lightly basically they have to prepare for the entrance exams so that they can hope for a secure future so in order to provide them with that much quality of education we have created our course through trained and highly experienced teachers who have already taught more than 10k students among which rajat uh, is one of the person who is recording for us the course who is creating courses with us and also i am also creating courses uh, for the students and our next solution is junior einstein this is something which is not uh, you can say yet existing in the market this is something very novel that we only are offering and in this what we are doing is we are setting up personal labs for every student and you can say uh, it is basically you can say if student the purpose or you can see the idea behind setting up personal labs is if a student do the things which are written in the books and then based on doing he will get to know like what it, the concept exactly is that will end up in a real time learning better learning so obviously if he learns by doing the things it will obviously be long term you can say it will lead to better retention and obviously it will made the learning interesting as well then this is the timeline and execution plan uh we started our journey in 2019 in uh, the month of jan we created an offline batch with, which was based on like classroom teaching and we got a very very nice response from students uh then in the march 19 we started with the program little newton which i explained and this is still in the beta phase beta testing phase and we have almost 5 to 10 users who are paid users as of now and this is just to get the feedback and uh, most of the students or uh, in fact all the students have got very good grades in school and they have given very very good feedbacks about the content that we are creating then in april 19 we created our digital platform and uh, it is ready for operation then uh, you can say in the month of may we started with our content creation in the month of may we started with our content creation and this content creation is for the course new little newton then in the month of june we started with 5 min, uh, 5 minute ka gyan which is if i convert it into english then it is it literally means uh, learning or imparting knowledge within 5 minutes or delivering knowledge within 5 minutes in this 5 minute ka gyan what we do is we create videos for single very important concept and that we deliver within a span of just 5 minutes that means a student has to see the video and he has to spend just 5 minutes to learn it and to extract knowledge out of it and that will prove to be very good for him while he will be writing for the competitive exams and in the month of july we started working on junior einstein that is uh, we started planning our lab modules and hopefully uh, you can say by the uh, end of this month or by the end of august we'll be able to uh, complete this thing we will be able to set up our kits for junior einstein and yes we are planning for official launch in north india in the month of march and uh, this is all about us great let's go back to the presentation and now what i'm yeah, going to sure. do is i'm going to make comments on your presentation okay. and on your slides okay <clears throat> so oh, first okay, slide hmm. when you mentioned uh, revolutionizing the education mm -hmm. sector it's mm -hmm. it's vague it's hard to understand okay. what's the point what i would okay. do is mm -hmm. include the slide number 3 sentence in the first slide okay. because right. slide 3 sentence <laughs> in the first slide 
Yes, why? Because you need to present the big idea up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to communicate clear what you're doing. And the, the, the concept is to provide the investors with the information about your value proposition. Yes. Slide 3 is somehow your value proposition. Okay. There is there is still some points to to make it better, but the idea mm -hmm. is this one. In the front page, you include your value proposition, you include your mm -hmm. brand, and mm -hmm. you include one picture that will represent okay. what you want or what your brand okay. represents. It okay. should be connected. And why? Because it brings okay. it brings connection. It make okay. it make it more emotional. And it's very important okay. to begin with an emotional context. <clears throat> Once you have mentioned what's your value proposition, the mm. next the next thing that you're gonna do is tell a story and uh, okay. what story are you gonna tell you're gonna tell the story of your persona have you heard about this concept right. persona yes yes use it use it to tell a story of the problem that they are facing so the first All slide right the first slide you're gonna have your brand the value proposition mm. and a picture that should be emotional mm. and you start okay. with also an emotional story which will create connection so okay. when you mention the pain points those are the problems of of the market that your company is solving mm or trying to solve right now mm -hmm. you should bring instead of bringing pain points you mm -hmm. bring a story of your persona so let's say that right. John John is father of Judith and okay. Judith is in school right now but she she has extra mental pressure uh, there's too much uh, pressure on her uh, she studied with a large batch size mm -hmm. so it's a standard classroom the mm -hmm. the content for her to to learn is not is not personalized, is not customized. It's every the content is equal for everybody. So Judith yes. doesn't have her needs addressed. Mm -hmm. And her yes. father cannot afford for paying for such hood for such a huge amount of money that good schools would charge. Mm -hmm. But now we have a solution for Judith and her father. We have a platform. We have a course all right. that will connect all the needs. And we, what we are going to do? We are going to do this, this, this and this. Hmm. All right. And then and you explain point? you explain the solution. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna solve the Judith and her father's problem? All right. You're gonna present the solution, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you can move to the market size. Mm. Because when you talk right. about your solution, there is a concept here that you should bring the competition also here. 
But in your mm. case, competition tend to be very well known. Yes. Which are the regular classrooms that we have all over the world. Mm. So when you are mentioning the solution, saying what's your main differentiation? Why what yes. you are proposing is different from the existent solution in the market? After you mention it, yes. you go to the market size. And then you mm. present the number of Judith that there are out there. So once you present the market size, go to the go, mm. go to your market size slide. Yes, this one. Here mm. you are bringing the India market, which is good. It's your main focus. You bring here uh, the total amount of money spent on education, right? Yes. Once you have provided this information and you mm. provide uh, a little bit deep dive on this number it it gives mm -hmm. me a good feeling of the total market All right. what should come next is what's the amount of the market that you believe it is your addressable yes. market okay so you could present uh, a circle, actually three circles, one, cir one okay. big circle that represents mm -hmm. the total market, a smaller circle inside the biggest mm -hmm. one, talking okay. about your addressable market, and then talking about the market share that you have right now, or that you are going to okay. get in one year. Okay. Because on on the investment side, okay. I should have a good view of the total amount of the market, the addressable market that you believe you can get, and the mm. short-term vision that you have. How many right. people are you going to impact or and how much money are you going to get out of this market? So it's important okay. to demonstrate it in a visual form, in a better, in a better way to see, because it will give me right away a good sense on where you could go in the long term. Mm -hmm and your short-term goals you you can see the the flow of the presentation if we yes. if we go through your pitch deck your original pitch deck the deck that you presented mm -hmm. there are breaks mm -hmm. when you you are telling the story there are some breaks yes. and the flow of the presentation was not the the best one to be followed by why because okay because you break you make you make stop hard stops and then you need to mm -hmm. go back and reassess what you are talking before so you start mm -hmm. talking about your solution your intent mm -hmm. or your vision which is mm -hmm. revolutionizing the educator sector so okay. you need to talk a little bit about your vision and then you break okay. the presentation and talk about your team and then you break okay. the presentation again and go okay. back and talk about your idea again and okay. then you break the presentation and talk about the market okay. 
and then you talk about the problem. You know, if yes. you present mm -hmm. one front page which brings your brand, which brings your mm -hmm. value proposition with an emotional image that represents your mm -hmm. brand and your vision, you start mm -hmm. with impact and touching the emotional side of the brain of the investor. Then All right. you talk about your persona, which is directly related with the big idea, with your value proposition. So there is a flow right. on the presentation. Hmm. Once you have talked about the problems that your personas have, you talk mm -hmm. about how to solve it, and then you present your product. All right. After talking about your product, where you're gonna mention your differentiation and compare mm -hmm. with the competitors, you are gonna talk about mm -hmm. the market. You're gonna say that there are a lot of people out there that has the same problem, that have the same problem. So, All right. <laughs> the story is completed now from mm -hmm. your vision, idea and value proposition, talking about mm -hmm. the problem, talking about the solution, talking about the competitors and the market size. Mm -hmm. Okay, I well, got your point. Once you have talked about the market size, the next step would be your business model. How okay. are you going to make money? How much are you going to charge for providing the solutions your personas want? Fine. Who are you going to pay? And how much for how long? Go to the next one. Okay. Exactly. When you're talking here about the solution, you are mm -hmm. talking about how much money are you going to charge, right? Yes. I would separate those information. You talk up okay. first about the solution, right after mm -hmm. you have talked about your persona's problem. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to talk about Okay, given the market size and given that we are going to get this market share, how are you going to mm -hmm. how are you going to make money? How are you going to okay. make these clients mm -hmm. pay for our service? Oh, it's very simple. We are going to charge them 150 mm -hmm. per month. Okay. <laughs> And they will have all the solution that we are going to bring. We believe okay. that we are going to charge $150 per person. So, an average mm. family in India has two children. So, a father mm. could easily pay 300 per month. Or not, or okay. it could be another one, it could be by family. So a father could pay one fixed price and it can include all children in the in our solution, in our platform, in our course. Hmm. You should you you can think uh, what would be the best way to to go. But yeah. <clears throat> you need to quantify it. Once you have defined the price and you have defined your market share, you know that the total amount of people that you need to reach mm. is X. Yes. Mm. And then the next slide should be how are you going to reach those X people? Oh, in order to reach right. X people, we are going to use this market strategy, this uh, go-to-market strategy, having uh, mm -hmm. 
an inbound marketing strategy or we are gonna hire sales people in order to talk directly to the fathers what's the strategy in order to get clients for your company and for your product okay once you have defined how are you gonna get them you mm -hmm. will complete your financials projections so one thing that's missing okay. here in your presentation is the financial analysis how much money are you gonna mm -hmm. make during the next months or the next mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. because it will make us understand what's your potential what's your potential so yes. once I have a clear vision on how much money are you gonna make going forward I would be mm -hmm. able to analyze and see if I invest on your company I would have a return for my for investment so mm -hmm. it's crucial to have this number and this information okay go to the next slide you talk about solution number two right yes yes we, which is another product yes when you mention this project this product uh, mm -hmm. you should have mentioned what is the problem of this persona so when you, you are okay. talking about the problem your persona is facing you should be mm -hmm. able to construct a story that mm -hmm. could bring or could get and could compilate aspects of all personas that you're gonna have on your company so there are personas that will be better attended or that will be have their their problems better addressed by solution one there are other personas that will be their problems better addressed by solution two there might be personas that would have their problems addressed mm -hmm. by solution one plus two. Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to build this story, to talk about mm -hmm. the persona, to talk about their problems mm -hmm. and link the problem with the solution that you're bringing. Okay. So, and the next slide that you are bringing mm -hmm. is slide number eight, which talks about the yeah. timeline, which is yeah. super relevant. And once mm -hmm. you have defined how much money are you gonna make, what's the market mm -hmm. share that you're gonna have? How many people are you going to impact? What's your go-to-market strategy in order to get there? And what's your financial okay. projections? Then you are going to tell mm. me what's the status mm. of your company right now and what are you going right. to do going forward in order to reach mm. their goals, to reach the goals All that you just established. So oh. the timeline slide is very good. I also like mm. to call it roadmap because the timeline oh, is right. is beginning on the past. Roadmap is mm. going forward. You can put everything together. One thing that I mm. would I would suggest for you is to increase the letter size. Then okay. increase the size of the letters it's very small you should okay. make it bigger but it's very mm. good the way that you presented one one topic above the line other topic below the line because it's it's easier to understand 
I like the way that you use the different colors because it's also easy to separate the themes okay. and the topics. It's very good. Mm. And you should include here mm. also how are you going to get the clients that you need going forward. So okay. you should put together the timeline and the roadmap. All right. And the roadmap should contain the activities that will lead you to reach the goals. All right. So, slide nine. Uh, yes, slide nine. It's a thank you slide. The last slide, yeah. I'm gonna talk mm -hmm. in one minute. But before the, la mm -hmm. the last slide, I'm going... Mm -hmm. I need to go back to the second slide of your presentation, <clears throat> oh. which is your team. So, mm -hmm. how could you mm -hmm. make the transition between the slide that you talk about the roadmap and the team? Mm -hmm. It's very okay. easy and simple and the flow is very good. You are going to say that in order to accomplish all tasks and activities and reach the goal that you have for your company you have mm -hmm. a very good team to support and to conduct and execute all activities so the team is formed by and then you talk about each one of them uh, I like this okay. slide the, the, the picture and the different colors are good. I like the way that you structure this way. I mm. would also increase the letter size, size, the letter size, okay. okay, because it's small. And I would also include results. I see okay. that you you brought characteristics, experience, and background mm. of your team. Mm -hmm. But I would mm -hmm. also include results. All right. What the results of each one of them in their areas mm -hmm. or what they oh. have done, what impacts mm -hmm. have already caused right. in, in the world or in their areas or in the community uh -huh. or in their company or in the school or anywhere you should okay. be able to talk about the results of the people because as an investor I'm interested in knowing and learning about mm. the people that mm. will conduct your startup that will make your dream come true that will make okay. your project being well executed and get the results that you are planned that you have planned this okay. this was a, a general view of your presentation and your pitch deck mm -hmm. does it make sense for you how how did you like it how did you see the suggestions i personally like the suggestions very much and i'll surely work on it and will try to do the things as you suggested within a span of like one week because I genuinely like the suggestions and I can actually connect what you were saying. It is way too more logical to go through the process that you suggested me. That I agree on. Great. So talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure, Tonjo. Nice talking to you. And nice talking to you. Great session. Lot of learning. Great, great. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye, bye, bye.